Happy weekend, Taurus. How are you doing? I hope you're well. We are going to get right into your reading. Take what resonates and you know to leave what doesn't. Always head over and watch your rising, your moon, and your Venus placement sign readings. Pulling from multiple decks of mine, so do stick around to the very end. I'm going to make it as personal as possible. If you are new to my channel, I am so grateful you're here. My name is Sam, and I welcome you. Go ahead and subscribe. I'm giving away three free love readings, three free personal love readings for the month of June, Taurus. So go ahead and subscribe. New and returning subscribers leave a, um, a vacation emoji down below in the comment section. Whatever you feel is vacation to you, that your phone allows you, or the word vacation. Um, at the end of each and every month, because these giveaways are different each and every month, but I do have them. Each and every month, I will remind you at the end of the month, check your notifications. This month, three people will be randomly chosen, and I will be reaching out to those three people. Beginning of the month sparks a whole new giveaway that I announce in the very beginning of each month. All right, guys, let's get into it. In separation, I'm taking a pause. I need to separate myself from you in order to work on my mind and my soul. This is temporary. I will eventually find my way back to you. So the, it's like the excitement that you felt in the very beginning, um, the butterfly feelings for one another, you know, just a smile on your face. It's like there's no place that you would have rather have been than beside this person. But I feel like this person lacked some stability in their life. If you notice, it's a four. Four is stability, support. I really feel a lack of, you know, it's like a lack of self-worth on their part. Yeah, look at this, masquerading. I am wearing a mask by appearing happy and serene in front of others. When I'm alone, I think about you and realize I was my true authentic self when I was with you. So it's like for those of you that have same friends, maybe co-workers, you know, when you're brought up, Taurus, they, they walk away from the connection. It's hard to be able to, you know, to talk about you to other people. Their friends might ask, are you okay? Have you gotten over Taurus? They try to remove themselves out of those situations. They're keeping their feelings for you all bottled up. They're not telling anyone. All right, Spirit. What else? All right, we have three more. We'll take them. Family ties, juggling, and drinking the Kool-Aid. So, for some of you, it's possible you were dealing with someone who may have had children, could have been trying to co-parent, single parenting, could have been leaving a marriage or a long-term commitment. This could be because of children. They were juggling things back and forth, maybe having multiple jobs. Someone who definitely had a lot on their plate. And it's like their emotions got the best of them. They started to feel overwhelmed. Take it how it resonates. You know it's going to be different for each and every one of you. And drinking the Kool-Aid. I, I followed blindly to what everyone else was telling me. They made me believe our connection wasn't real. And that it was just a waste of my time. I think now. I know now that was untrue. See... I do. I feel like a connection that was ending for this person and that, you know, you met them very soon thereafter and their friends, their family are like, dude, what are you doing? You didn't even give yourself the time, you, time to heal from this person and now you're jumping in with Taurus. Like, you may want to heal. You may want to slow down. It seems like it's infatuation. It seems like this is a rebound. You know, and, and they listen to other people around them. Maybe you need to focus on your kids. Maybe, you know, just, you know, work. Do what you got to do to, you know, find that stability. And then, you know, if it's meant to be, Taurus will be there. 
you know, take it how it resonates. I really feel like other people might have talked trash or gave their opinion when, you know, it wasn't, you know, asked for. All right, Spirit, what else for Taurus and this person? Yeah, see community. Like I said, I'm feeling like, and this could even be a workplace connection and co-workers, you know, adding their two cents or being very nosy and it was like the talk of the office, but good fortune is coming. Awesome. All right, let's see what else we can get. And then I'll get into the tarot. Spirit, bring me additional clarity. I got to say, you might have even had, for some of you, you might have had a child with this person. And, you know, depending on your age or whatever, you know, parents, community, friends saying, well, just because you're having a baby with this person does not mean you need to be with them. I don't think you're a good fit with that person. You know, and I, I just feel a reconnect here. Like defeating all odds. People talking smack and you should, you know, my mom and dad got married very young and it was, they were pregnant with me. They didn't let me know that until it's like something within that they did not want to tell me. They wanted me to think that they were married and then got pregnant. But anyway, they got pregnant with me very early on in their relationship and got var married very young and now married 50 years, but my dad's family, you know, other people are like, you are too young. You can't make this work. Do you know what's going to take? And, and they'll tell you it was not an easy ride. But they defeated all odds. And that's what I mean. Like going against whatever people say and making it work. Yeah, coming together. Being a team. Working together. A partnership. And look at that divinely guided Archangel Michael showing up, Taurus. Balancing of scales, a brand new beginning. Making things fair between the two of you. And then a conclusion is within reach. Results, a conclusion. Feeling relieved by the outcome. All right, let's get it. All right, Taurus is true feelings and emotions. For this person coming through seven of cups I feel at some point you started to look at this as wishful thinking that it was never going to go the way you anticipated needing to make a decision needing to prioritize at this point in time you might have multiple things going on in your own life and this they're just one of many things going on But I feel what you considered wishful thinking, it's about to turn, make a turn in the right direction. There are true feelings and emotions for Taurus, Spirit. There are true feelings and emotions for Taurus. Wish fulfillment. You see this person is very jolly, sitting on his beach chair, feeling like he's got everything right there, right He's just, you know, feeling very emotionally happy. He's looking at his phone. So I do feel this person is watching you, looking at social media. Maybe at old photos that you shared with them. Possibly looking at old text messages. At times, this person grabs their phone to see what you're up to, Taurus. Spirit, what is the current situation between Taurus and this person? The King of Pentacles. I 
like I said, you both have things going on in your life. Juggling, working out things on your own, um, possibly putting extra time and work into your career and your stability. King of Pentacles could be purchasing um, extra land, making big purchases, renovating a home. But both of you are working on your abundance and your prosperity for long term. What is blocking forward movement? There it is. The Seven of Swords and the Nine of Pentacles. With masquerading, I really feel this person was not as happy with their life as they, as you may have seen, they may have made you seem or let, let you, led you to believe. I really feel that, again, they lacked confidence. They lacked where they were going in life. You know, in the honeymoon phase, when you first meet someone, you do a lot of like extracurricular things like go taking each other to favorite places, maybe dining out a lot. And I really feel like this person's money was not where they felt comfortable. Their feelings were on point with how they felt for you, but they were just masquerading about like how much they had going on. Spirit, how are you helping this connection? Making them a constant thought. Making you a constant thought in their mind. They're thinking about you all the time. It's like an awakening within this person. Thinking, you know, this is worth fighting for. I do care for Taurus. Whatever, whatever challenges were up, Against, we'll do it together. All right, spirit. And what will be the overall outcome? What will be the overall outcome? There it is. Being persistent. Both of you may seem very guarded when you reconnect. But you're, you want to come to, like I said, a partnership, wanting to come together and do it together. Prioritizing one another. Realizing that you make a great team against those challenges. And having that stable romance. The potential for long term. You might even met this person, like, like I said, maybe through work or by doing business with them. For some reason, I just heard real estate agent, so whatever that means. But I definitely, and look what's at the bottom of the deck. I definitely see the two of you coming together. All right, let's see what else we can get. Please clarify for Taurus and this person. What else do you have? So, oh, look at that. The Wheel of Fortune. Turning of the wheel. Positive karma in your favor. Two of Wands. Plan is in reach. Conclusion is in reach. Making that plan to move forward together towards this passionate new beginning. Taurus, this is a very beautiful reading. Those broken dreams. You know, this might be your energy cross watchers. There was broken dreams here, broken promises. Someone had a fear of vulnerability. And that comes from previous experiences prior to meeting one another. But this is what stands out in both of your minds and in both of your hearts. There is no denying these type of emotions for one another. So again, where there are challenges and this is resonating, the two of you are going to work through those challenges together. You want to do it together. This even could be you having children and them having children and it's a meshing of family. Okay. 
All right, let's see what messages I can get from their heart and soul Taurus to you. Union is an energy, not a physical construct. Even when we aren't together, I feel our union. So even in distance, the two of you are connected. That's why you think about one another so much. It's not because you're crazy. I am awakening. I know more than I am letting on. Remember the nine of cups. He was sitting on that chair looking at his phone. He knows he cares for you. He, be, he being this person in the chair. They know that they care for you. They know that you were a light in their darkness, a light at the end of the tunnel. Even in silence, there's still that knowing. All right. Love like ours can change the world. Like I said, a power couple. I'm trying to connect to you and give you a message. Can you hear me? You're connecting in your dreams. You're daydreaming about one another. You may be coming across like a song or a movie that either you said was your favorite song or you saw the movie together. Something you are seeing things stand out that remind you of them and them of you. All right, final messages from this person to Taurus. Even if you don't give me a chance again, I want you to know I love you so much. I fear you will never forgive me. Remember, taking it back to the beginning, they were juggling, they were masquerading. She's holding a broken heart, so it's possible they broke your heart. I am not the same person. No, remember, they're evolving through those challenges that they were facing. I just didn't know what I wanted in my life. You mean more to me than I could ever tell you. I know my indecisions are hurting us. And you are the best thing that's ever happened to me. Taurus, you are about to get a confession of a lifetime. D O E Do Bambi. I don't know how that stands out. Z N R A W T and I just heard don't run all right take what resonates leave a vacation emoji down below in the comment section um anytime you want me to tune into just your energy someone around you someone that you're you're trying to find guidance or clarity with Click on the link in the description box. It'll take you right over to my Etsy shop. As I explained prior during May's readings, limited availability throughout the summer, but I did jump on board with the summer sale um, that Etsy is offering. So some of my readings are on sale. If you see that it's sold out, like I said, limited availability, check back within a few days, a week, um, and I'll have everything restocked as I get through the readings that I currently have. Just my way of controlling you know, how overwhelmed I get with personal readings, you know, and still dealing with family time. All right. Love and light, guys.